I'm an you know, astrologer and I have a new book out, but not only that, I am specialized and been doing it for 35 years in rhombology. Yeah. And I have found what's, that. What's rhombology? Well, you know, you have two hands, don't you? You right. have a handprint, but you have two cheeks on your behind, don't you? Right. And it's, uh, actually, so I'm able to interpret and read that as well as I can do the hands. So you had to read people's butts? Yeah, so you sit on a copy machine and ha hire. Uh, Howard's promised to sit on one today, and I'll interpret his future. This is Travis the farter, and I'm here to fart on Jackie Stallone. She's gonna read my ass in some way, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fart on her. You need anything special? <laughs> I don't know what I got planned for exactly. It's kind of an impromptu deal. You know, I see what happens when I get when she starts reading it. If she uh, presses the right buttons and touches the right spots, maybe I'll give her a little extra. Jackie Stallone will be here to read our asses this morning. <laughs> read my ass. I'm not kidding you. This woman is for real. She claims she can predict things about people by looking at their ass. And you know what? I don't feel like showing her my ass. I'm embarrassed. Join the club. How much do you have to show? I'm not in real shape right now. If you, as you know, I was ill for a while, and I went through a... Don't make excuses. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> you can never be sure, you know? No. <laughs> don't make excuses. She'll be like, I see you visiting the craters of the moon. Oh. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you predicting that? <laughs> well, the hits just keep on coming. <clears throat> right. I, you know what? I moved my bowels last night after I showered, and I said, oh, no, Jackie Sloan's going to read our asses. I don't want her. To, I don't want to bend over and have her catch a whiff, because you know, no matter how much you clean up, you didn't shower this morning. That's what I did. Okay. I, I took a special shower yeah, because I knew really? my I knew my buttocks was going to be red. You did, uh, Fred looks worried. You didn't uh, shower. I, I don't know how much attention I paid. Uh oh. <laughs> you did can't you pay forget? Too much attention. She might be in for a nose full. <laughs> oh. How close does she have to get to read? I want. Fred almost cut his nuts off for this bit. He went on the uh, Xerox machine here that we have at uh, the radio station. And he could have changed his fate. He jumped up on it and the glass broke, sense. and he had glass caught in his ass. Oh. Yeah. I'm telling you. According to KC, she was not all that calm. She's been yelling at him for like a, wow. a week straight. Oh no. Yeah. America. She wants him fired. Wow. She demanded that KC be fired uh, you know she, she demanded well first she demanded to be flown in and you know we don't have any budget to fly anyone and we never do so we said we won't do it so then she said you better so we flew her in coach she got really pissed uh, but we said we don't you know we don't have that kind of budget it's a radio show you know if anyone's flying we're flying first class yeah <laughs> this woman is out of control howard <laughs> what yeah. happened well, i know she true. demanded that you be fired and she demanded to be uh she didn't want to be with the peasants in coach Right. right. So she's upset that we had a, we had a car there and she couldn't find the car right away. So we had uh, a car. Yeah. You know what? Tom was feeling so generous this day. I told him. I said, you know what? Can we get her a cab because she was being so difficult. A cab. Yeah. Right. So he says, you know what? You can get her a car. Wow. wow. So I got her a car and and she couldn't find it. So she's upset now that she has to take a cab, and and the guy didn't speak English. <laughs> So she yells, she yells at me because control. of that. I'll tell you what, why don't you take this up with her when she's here? Because she's yeah. demanding that you be fired. She says you're incompetent. Maybe she has a good reason. Yeah, I'm going to find out from Jackie Howard, Stallone. She told me to go F myself last night. Well, did you? It, 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 it took that much for me not to, to say anything. I said, thank you very much. And she well, you, hung up on You were professional. Right. All right. Yeah, it hurt like a bastard. I'll get over oh, it. How much better oh, you feel today. Yeah. I don't feel any better. <laughs> Howard, even Maybe I you'll have the luck of Sylvester Stallone. Lady. Maybe they'll have the luck of Frank. Even what? I had to step in on this one because, yeah. you know, she's staying at a hotel that's five blocks away. Yeah. And she wants a car this morning. And we're mm -hmm. like, if you take a cab, we'll reimburse you. And that was just, that drove her out of her mind. Right. So Casey actually called the hotel and they provide a car service for a hundred bucks. And I said, mm -hmm. no, that's that's not going to happen. So right. we're trying to get, you know, right. a little cheaper. Yo, All right. Um, we got Travis the fodder, and he's... he's isn't, isn't her son, Sylvester Stallone? Can't he give her a couple of mil? Obviously, he must have cut off the funds. Right. We got another guest that's coming in, and he said, hey, thank you so much. The accommodations were beautiful. You guys are great. Really? You know who I mean? was that? Travis the fodder, who was coming in for... Oh, oh okay. Travis, right, right, right. The, Travis the fodder. Ah. I'm crying out loud. <laughs> She now is into rumpology, the ancient art of rumpology. I've we, never heard of this. <clears throat> no one has. <laughs> she is now reading people's asses. Uh, she claims that by... Now, I don't even know why you... Who's going to believe this? But she claims it's an ancient art, and she is the mother of Sylvester Stallone. 
And so people listen. People listen. Sly Stallone has less to admit. Look at Jackie. You look younger. Oh, and now Jackie dressed for the show. She looks younger and more beautiful than ever. Wow. She's showing younger, a lot of skin Younger you, and Howard. more beautiful than ever. And you're showing a lot. Sit down. I can't hear you. I can't even hear you. What? I said you're about the only one that understands him. Howard. First of all, you are wearing what they call a belly shirt. You're exposing your stomach. It's very sheer what she's wearing. What? My husband's a doctor. You got married? A year ago, after 20 years. I didn't know that. And, uh, well, he's a handsome doctor, Jewish doctor. Right. A neurosurgeon. Yes. And he's sitting in the back room. He doesn't want to come in because he's afraid you'll ask him something about... Assholes. Or first, I wish you would, because I want to know. <laughs> you would like to know. Let, let me, let me, what? let me get into this first of all. I really like coming on your show, Howard. You do. What? We've I'm, missed you because you're the only sincere, honest person that I know. Thank you, Jackie. I mean it sincerely. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not down again. And I bought you a book that no. I just wrote. Thank you. Do you want it now? Or? Not yet. I want to talk to you first. Okay. All right. Listen, let me let me say something. You're refreshing. I always leave this place smarter. Why rumpology? In other words, in <laughs> well, other words, it seems kind of, Let me let me tell you what okay. I think. All right. In other words, if I said tomorrow I could watch people vomit and tell the future, <laughs> you would laugh at me. You would. You would say that's crazy. It's kind of a turn off. Right. Or if if I said to you I could pick my boogers and the way they land on the wall would tell you about the future. Why would t looking at somebody's buttocks tell you anything? No one is going to believe that. You know well, I that. I don't care whether. Oh, let me ask you, Howard. Do you have two hands? Yes. Do you have two feet? Yes. Did you know how many nerves you have in each hand? No. Ten thousand. Do you know how many you have in each foot? No. Ten thousand. Well, do you know how much you have in each cheek? No. Thousands. Thousands. Art, of do you know you have a left brain and right brain? Yes. Do you know what oh. your left brain controls? My penis. Your, oh. your right ass? No, but it doesn't. Why does would that, that enable you to tell the future? You know, I, I know read, you, I read the same as a palm. How's I mean, you that? are Sylvester Stallone's yes, mother. Yes, I am. And, and that is a great yes, thing to is. be. And I predicted his, too. I read his as a child and continued. You read his butt cheeks? Of course. Wow. So you've you been doing this wow. for a long time. And Frankie's, too. As a matter of fact, Frankie bought you his autograph. Really? Yes. Do your son say to you, Mom, please, don't go on the Howard Stern show and read butt cheeks. It's embarrassing no, to us. Frankie gave an autograph to Howard Stern from Frankie Stallone. What did Sylvester say about this? I know he doesn't he like said, when you come on the show. About your behind? Right. He said, well... Uh, <laughs> now, what does he say about you reading behinds? He probably doesn't want he you doing it. He thinks I'm a genius. He does. <laughs> he had his read, but he said he doesn't want it on the show. Right. And what? Uh, oh, he you, let you read his. Not on your show. Frankie you, he said. He pulled down his pants and let you see his no, buttocks? No, no, that's not the way it's done. How is it no, done? No, Howard, Thank come God. On. <laughs> I, I really thought you, you have... I do not have you to show you my ass. We sat on a copy machine. We Don't sat on a copy machine. Fred broke Fred it. It went through, through the entire right. glass. Not, Fred? Not, yeah. Not an exacting science, Sarah. Would you it's look at our butt cheeks today and tell us something? Yeah. On a copy machine. On a copy machine. All right. Now, just a minute. I'm, I'll have something for you. If you don't want to sit on I've got did, copy did you machines. Do it? You can sit watercolor it and sit on a piece of paper. But I bought the most famous. You will not look at our naked asses. No, I will not. Yes, but Anthony Carr will. Anthony Carr does that. That's not my thing. For instance, what? What I would do for you is Anthony Carr's most famous ass aura reader worldwide. Aura. He's written up a newspaper. If I don't, but can I tell you the truth? What? I think it's a bit wacky. Well, well, I think all think astrology. Too. No, I think astrology is wacky. All that stuff. But to say that you could look at somebody's ass and tell them. Like, well, look at these. Have what you predicted talking? anything that we should know yes, I that, have. that, in other words, came true? Yes. Like, you, like what? what? Well, I've got Anthony Carr back. We have a presidential uh, nominee who's up there to run for president. We got his. You yeah. did. And what did it say? Well. <laughs> I mean, in, in other words, in other words, when Just, you read, no, but Anthony, when, no, when you read auras, the cheeks, all you three, I know you want something. You want to know where you're going? No, do you all read you the do cheeks or do you peer into the sphincter? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, do you read the cheeks? Tell the one and tell me what I read. Huh? No, no, I want to know what you read. But Howard, you're not going to fool me. I'm not fooling you. There's no fooling you. <laughs> this is from for Frankie for you. Now, this those is are his butt cheeks. Kind. No, let me ask you something. You will not take a look at our butt cheeks and tell us something. No. The raw skin, oh, I have no... Look at that. Anthony Carl, read the aura with your clothes on. Oh, that's beautiful. You could read that aura. Yeah. Oh. And what do you... When you see Frank's butt cheeks like this, what does it say? I mean... Well, what did he say to you? I mean, it's ridiculous. I even brought listeners in to get their asses read. books on this rumpology. Right. You can send... How I could it be ancient if you, you need a copyer in order to do it? Or a, 
That's a good point. Did you hear what Robin just said? How could this be an ancient art if you need a copying machine to do it? Well, no. Actually, what happens in thousands of years ago, and still in the Middle East, people, women are not allowed to show their naked bodies. Right. So they have to rub their bodies in henna ink. You do this for money? Of course I get paid for it. What does someone generally pay to have their rump read? $100. $100. Now, you are obviously, you've got to be wealthy. I'm sure Sylvester has yes, given you, you millions. Yes. No, I've given him millions. Really? Yes. And you have not, he has not given you. I was you, born rich. I does, don't need money. Does he ever say to you, Mom, mm -hmm. I'll give you millions? If, just shut up. If you don't, if go, you on do, yeah, if you don't go on Howard Stern and read yes, rumps. He has said he that. He has said that, <laughs> yes. And what do you say to him? Well, I'm. Well, <clears throat> you're here. Yeah. He, he said, I don't take that kind of advice. Right. You're your own person. Yes, I like I that am. about I always liked that oh, about you. I, mean, I really did. You're not yeah. going to let your sons tell you what, what to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen what, what? Wait you a second. Get, look, Howard, if you had your rear end, you get it one year of rumpology. Every day you can say, I wonder where my re where I'm going to. But have you going? ever predicted something where it came true? Like, in other words, Everything you said to the person, I, I see in your ass you're going to die in a week, and then the person oh, dies. Have you, no, do you have anything to? Death. You don't do death. Do you have anything? Yes. That would, would indicate that this comes true? Yes. Give me an like example. What? Ooh, just proof. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my new because I figure when she read Frank as a baby, she should have told him to stay at home. Right. <laughs> what do hemorrhoids suggest? I Seriously. Don't look at hemorrhoids. You do not look at the inside. I don't blame what you. What is Wait, she looking for? Wait, Sylvester is on the phone. Sylvester, is that you? How you doing, Howard? Hey, Sylvester, how are you? It is Good. not. That's not him? Is it? Sylvester? Hey, Ma. I, can't, I don't have the thing Put on. the headphones on, please. I beg I of you. Ma, how are you doing? I'll tell you if it's him. What are you doing again, Ma? Reading people's asses? Go ahead. Your, your mother's now can hear you. Go ahead. How you doing, Ma? <laughs> Doesn't sound like him. Oh, mother. Listen, what are you doing? Reading people's asses? I, when you read my ass, you this can tell that I'd be a big star. All right, this doesn't, this doesn't sound like <laughs> I, your I son. I can't wait to read your obituary, Ma. Oh, oh come on. Oh, That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> That's outrageous. A person. That's a dummy, for goodness sakes. Howard. So anyway, I heard you were upset. About what? About uh, we had a fly-in coach. Didn't We've never she even read her, her own yeah, ass yeah. and see. Yeah. Let, yeah. yeah. let me tell me what's going I am on. A, a, an important person, okay? right? Absolutely, the and mother suddenly, of. Suddenly, the only on your show would I come on coach. I don't mind the coach, but they picked the worst plane. <laughs> the seat was that I sat on was as big as a postage stamp. I couldn't bend over. Yeah, we have no and then budget. He says, People are like 500 pounds on each side of me. Oh. I couldn't move my elbows. I sat there. And then when I got there, it was supposed to be a driver to pick me up. No one picked me up. Oh. Then when I got to the hotel, they never heard of me. And you're supposed to, <laughs> no one's paid the rent. It's cost me $1,000 to come on this oh. shit show. You know what, oh. Jackie, Nothing. that's unfair. You said you love this Th show. That's unfair. Because Why is that unfair? I blame you, not Howard. Because it, blame oh, me all God. you want. What First the, of all, what what you get on that microphone, you, Jackie. Jackie, get on the microphone. Get on the microphone. Microphone. What do you mean it's not fair? Because first of all, <laughs> That's not how it all went down. Second of all, you have deemed yourself an important guest. You are a guest. Arnold Schwarzenegger was here Monday. He's an important guest. We're doing you a big favor because I don't see it's a lot of who. shows. But who's booking you? Who else is? But where are you going after this? Go fuck yourself. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. Like, wait, okay. don't know F word. No F word. No F Jackie, give me the long list. No, no, but Jerry, why well, you, Gary? I'm happy to. Jackie, to me, is an important guest. I'll tell you no, where I'm going, but, Gary. No, I've never are you been, complaining because I didn't like the way you stripped no, me I, up here I, like No, I'm cattle? complaining that I've never had my entire staff yelled at by one person the way you've yelled at everyone across the board. Who's everyone? Casey, you told him to go F himself. You well, told him that he should be fired. You, I I'm going to fire him. Fired. You, I did you, not you say you should You said you had some plans for me today. Now, what was it? Well, I was going to read your behind. Now, I'm not going to do that. Now, she's not reading your behind. You were very upset with Wait a second, Gary, Gary. Here's, here, Is this see. Gary? That's yeah. Baba Booey. Read his ass. Yeah. Let Anthony come and he bend hey, over. He's doing the aura. <laughs> An aura reading of both of you. Now, just a minute. How do you travel, Casey? How do I travel? I would be so happy if someone was going to put me up and put me and fly me in any plane. Right? Who, uh, who are you? Yeah, but, to, you're, to, to but say, Casey, you're, you're, you're. But Jackie, hold on a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Jackie, wait a you second. talked to Frank. Frank's your son, right? Yeah. Right. Frank's done the show a million times. Yeah. D does Frank get all this treatment that we just discussed? Frank doesn't get. You know, coming on here and plugging what you're plugging, that's a very valuable. Just thing. a minute. I don't Go need ahead. you to plug what yeah, I'm plugging. Right. No, but why are you here? You're here to plug, right? 
You're here to sell a book or sell something that you're doing well, and doing I it on came. and doing it on this <laughs> Maybe show. Maybe she came because she missed me. Maybe I came to just see Howard. Yeah, get out of here, the two of you. So, get okay, out, get out of here, hard. Gary. Back, so, back so, off, so Jackie. Then you Look, can't. Don't try Jerry, to tell get me out of that here. I had a happy ride up here. Yeah. First, I, they stuck me and my new husband. I'm trying to impress him on the tail of the plane, <laughs> and he yeah, really, I mean it. Right. And just saying, I was a little ungrateful. That's all. A little ungrateful. Yeah. Well, we actually never. You're the only guest we ever flew in because we have no money. Very, very honored. you don't. We have no budget. We, you know, yeah, I take it home. I like to read, Howard. Go ahead. Your bosses. You would like to read my you bosses. Better believe it. I bet he has a cheap, tight ass. Right. I mean, to do this to us. You absolutely us. are right. Put him on a copy machine. <laughs> I would, but we it broke it. And I, and you know what? The day we broke Nobody the copy machine, I hailed, I hightailed it out of here because everyone is cheap. They want your plane I think that's terrible. Yes. After all, does he realize it's the likes of us that come on yeah. that... Keep him rich. Right. If it weren't for you and the people we come because we like you, well, he'd be on his ass. Right. All right. Listen, Jackie. This? Jackie. <laughs> I'm speechless. Well, what about So, it? Jackie, you got married, which shocks me. I got married me, a year ago. To a doctor. Yeah. He's younger than my kids. No. A young man. Yeah, why? No, I, I, I got to meet this guy. I got to meet this guy. Sooner. No, you are, first of all, a difficult woman to live with because you are, no, I don't mean that as a... Uh, you're wild. You're wild. You are wild. No, you're volatile. You're quiet, as a matter of fact. I don't believe that. Well, we have the perfect marriage. I'll tell you why he's handsome. I want you to say hello to him. He's, uh, we would love to. I would love to see this. He is nice. Uh, Did the we, boys meet him? Oh, the, they met him at the wedding. Sylvester gave me the wedding at the Polo Lounge. Wow. And, Does he uh, get, do you get along, by the way, with this, he's got a wife now, Sylvester. Yeah. You like this one? I like them all. Really? Yeah. He you likes, like all the ones? likes wives. them all. I didn't like the other ones, of course not. You did not? No. But, but you like, like this one. one? This one you like? I do. You feel she's a good wife? Yeah. Well, she's in love with him. She has his, she you know, cares for him. She does. Because I know you're very critical. Oh, there's your husband. Oh, God, don't say anything dirty to no, me. No, I didn't say anything oh, yet. He's younger That's than our sons. He's a neurosurgeon. Oh, Doctor, you are younger than uh, the sons? He looks lousy today, but the fact is... Well, we're is, uh, fairly oh. close, I think. Well, really? Uh, how old a man, no, how old a man are you? you, you, you 56. 56? You are not. Oh, he's at least. 50. He's 50. Are you 50, really? I've told, tried to tell him to pass as a senior citizen so we can get them to places half price. No, he's an no. Old, you're older than older 50. Older guy. He's an older guy than 50, Jackie. No, no offense. No, he isn't. Yes, he, he is. A facelift, but he isn't. <laughs> he needs a facelift. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> You're older than fifty, aren't you? He yes. is yeah. not. No, Jackie, are you kidding? He's fifty at Woodstock. I mean, I, listen, he's had a tough year. <laughs> no, listen. The man is older than fifty. I can see that. Why well, would that's you? That's not a compliment. It, I, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Is I, I don't mean he to be negative. About your age. Why don't you stand on that? Forty-five. I'm forty-five. What do you think he is? He's 60. he's at least sixty. <laughs> oh God, he will hate you for no, that. No, I doctor. Are you older than fifty-five? You know damn well you're not. No. No. I mean, how do you? Are you in your fifties? Yes. All right. Stop. Wow. What is this? Guess the game. <laughs> he's fifty. Guess 12. the age of the guest. Huh? I mean, how and do you show? feel with he thinks you're sixty? <laughs> but Jackie. Oh. What? He, he's an older gentleman. He's not. He's not my age. I'm he 45. Is your age. And Sylvester's and he's not Sly's age. A and he's not Sly's age. He's put him on a rotten light. <laughs> is that what it is? Like my the then, then get rid of that light and, and kill the lighting manufacturer. <laughs> I mean, because no one should look like that if he's terrible. 45. He doesn't he's a look. A handsome man. If he walked up close to you. <laughs> now you look 45. <laughs> now what's wrong with that look? <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. Now how did you fall in love? You don't really trust men all that much. I know well, that you've had a bad, bad marriages before. No, I've I've had this is my fourth. No. This is your fourth marriage, mm -hmm. right? Did you read wife. his rump? Yes, I did. And what did it say? And I brought it with me. You did. Yes. And he is a good man. Yes. And how long is the, how long have you two been married? One year and two days. Are you still practicing medicine? Or are you? Yes. Yes. You are. Yes. He's oh, Jackie, nowhere near the age you think he is for Christ. What kind of doctor are you? He's I a know. neurosurgeon. No. Wait a so, minute, Jackie. He, let Jackie, him let him on. answer. What, what is? Are you? Let me ask you something, yes, doctor. I'm a neurosurgeon by training. You are a neurosurgeon. Would you like a card? Oh, you know, when Jackie said you were a neurosurgeon, you seemed to wince and say, oh, I am not a neurosurgeon. Well, I, I'm doing uh, some other areas right now. <laughs> like what? Medicine. What is he doing now? Well, yeah, what are you doing now? Well, I have a, a number of uh, homes that I attend and do house calls in the Los Angeles Really? Area. You're one of the few doctors who does uh, house calls. He's trying to start. He has 180 of them. Right. Are you not into proctology at all? Like, uh, <laughs> no, is Jackie's rumpology? No. So basically, you're a general practitioner now. Mm. Yes. 
Yes, with. but many of the uh, people that I see have uh, developmental disabilities and mm -hmm. uh, other. Uh, I see. So you fell in love with Jackie Howe. You met her where? We met at Mateo's in uh, Los Angeles. And she came over to you, I imagine. She's a very aggressive woman. She probably came over <laughs> to you. I certainly and did not. I tried to fix them up with my girlfriend. Really? Actually, I would like to fix them up with my daughter. You would? Because I'm trying to get rid of her husband. Yeah, but 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 this is, you want to take your husband and give her give him I to your daughter? I was married to him. I thought he was too young for me, so I thought it would be perfect for my daughter, Tony Ann. I'll fix him up. Right. But I ended up with him myself. Wow. Well, congratulations, you two. You look Thank like you a... You look, you look. Are you having fun? I'm not sure it's fun, but, <laughs> but he's such a nice it's person. a great he's experience. A right. And the sex life is good? Well, Absolutely. ask him. Is the sex life Absolutely. good? Absolutely. It is. How many times a week, Doctor? <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> I wish, this is what I'd like you to ask. I'd like to know these questions. You're not myself. having sex? <laughs> well, I, I could stand more. Really? Is that right? He keeps leaving his Viagra in the office. Really? You, 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 yeah. How is the Viagra? Any good? Uh, it's been reported to be a very good problem. Right, right. He's you. so shy, poor thing. Really? He, he takes How the Viagra. How did he handle her? Does I he don't take know. the Viagra? On my tongue? No, of course no. I don't. What man would need Viagra with you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Viagra makes you feel like you're 60. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, 40. <laughs> He's so shy, he'll right. never be the Why same. are you not making more love to? You're a newlywed. Yeah. Why not make more love to Jackie Stallone? Why, why? Why is she going begging? Why is she begging for there it? There are only seven days in a week. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but there's seven mornings, too. <laughs> are you, seven oh. nights. What are you having, sex once a week? I don't know. Well, how often do we get it? How often? <laughs> he's so shy. I mean, he's learning. He's been. No, I'm saying you're a woman with needs. I know that. Yeah. You're very, very. That's right. Lusty. You're not ready to give it up. You're full-bodied. You have beautiful bosom. Listen to the sky. Right. I mean, you need it. Your husband has to deliver the goods. <laughs> Am I correct? That's what you expect. Well, ask him. I, but he doesn't ask seem to answer. I'm asking you. I'd like to ask. I'm too shy. You, to are ask. you embarrassed to ask him for more sex? Are you well-fashioned that way? No, we're, he's got a calendar, and we're going to start keeping score. Really? It's come to that? Wow. Well, yes. Well, what? So is this marriage in trouble? I don't Ooh. think so. Is the marriage in trouble? <laughs> Absolutely not. But oh. the sex. Read her the what? The sex. Yeah. You sex? must have sex. <laughs> well, when you're married to a doctor, mm -hmm. they're never home to do Why don't you awaken him to fellatio? Yeah. That would always get any man in bowels. <laughs> what is that? You know what, what that is. is. That? No, what? You don't know what fellatio no. is? You, you use your mouth on your man. Oral sex. I should do it to him. You should wake him. No, me. you should you should wake him up with that, yeah. and then he would probably be in the mood. I do, and he thinks it's the dog. <laughs> oh, we have a we oh. have a chihuahua. Oh. We do. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <Many jokes. Yeah. laughs> oh, I love her. There's an answer. Wow. Somebody told me when you guys got married that Mikhail, Mikhail Gorbachev was your best yes. man. Yes, and his daughter came over. Mikhail Gorbachev, the former leader so of what's Russia. Wrong with that? No, I think that's amazing. You were his he was room? astrologer for years. And really? It's an honor to have the pictures. It was amazing. What he, that's what Sylvester, we were going to elope because I didn't want my kids to know I was getting married. So Sylvester threw a surprise wedding at the Polo Lounge. Hmm. And he said, I can't believe it. Here's a picture of us in the book. Howard, look. Where is this book? Let me let me oh, let me, let me on, give you Howard. a plug. I'll give you a plug. I wish you would, Howard. All right. you know, I want, let me give you a I plug. need another million dollars. All right, Listen, let me see. Look at him, the wedding. What Sylvester said. Let me see. Look, Sylvester's on the back now. Give me the plug, this Casey. What's the matter? Well, with I bought you? it up for you to keep. Right. That see that picture? What does Sylvester say? There it is. What did he say? Look at the back. It says, uh, "With love, Jacqueline Stallone." Wow. Oh. Does not. I, that's what it says. I swear to God. On the quest, Steve and I are eating our wedding cake. I don't see that picture. Well, what's the matter with you, Howard? <laughs> I don't know. I can't see it. What do you want? Right? Maybe you need glasses. I don't know. I don't. Oh, there it is. I wish to dedicate this edition of Star Power to my dear husband, S. Marcus Levine, M.D., who had the courage to melt my ice cubes. As my son Sylvester said when, said, when he gave me away for the fourth time, you have just wis witnessed a minor miracle. <laughs> well, there it is. So this will teach people how to read people's asses. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, how you can read your own ass? Right. On love. Well, I don't want to look at my ass. Star power, an astrological guide to super success. Yeah, and there's Sylvester's picture on the back. Yes. What he thinks of me as an astrologer. 
I think it's very nice, do you? Yes, I do. What I does think he it's a, say about her? He says, uh, my marvelous, extraordinary, irrepressible, unpredictable mother, gifted with a facile mind. <laughs> she has a vast array of talents, but without question, her greatest talent is to foresee the future. Really? This is what he says. Wow. And the truth. I can say this is one mama who really knows best. When she speaks, you listen. I, I can't believe she got him to write something on the back of the book. She that must have been very difficult. Oh, did. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. That. I'll tell you something. I tried reading my own ass after I read this book, and I found the piece of corn back there, and I got very disgusted with myself. I'll be honest with you. And uh, what's a book like this cost? Twenty dollars. Twenty bucks, and you will learn how to read oh, people's ass. It's a magnificent astrology book on relation. Look at the pictures behind of all the people I've done. Yes, you've, you've done. Yes, and you've done Milton Berle's astrology chart, and you have pictures of yourself now, with this is uh, astrology everyone. or astrology. Astrology. Uh. Astrology. <laughs> I want to give each one here. Well, thank you, Jackie. Uh, I need it. You look beautiful. It's a romantic book. I can't believe I'm meeting your husband. Thank you, Howard. Would you, was it love at first sight for you? Yes, it was. I think. It was. Oh, how long? Just... How long does it take to get a Jackie Stallone in bed, uh, Doctor? <laughs> Honestly, how long? How many dates? Hey now. I don't have an answer for that. You don't. Well, if you can it... get answers out of him, you have to be good. Hmm. Honey, it's people like you that make these shows bomb. <laughs> Thing. I want to try and read somebody's ass. Bring in uh, one of our listeners. We, I well, brought listeners what, down. I'm wondering, Jackie, I guess she needs an audience, Am and I that's why she likes a quiet no, man like Anthony this. Carr come in for Who course. is Anthony Carr? He's the uh, astrologist. Down from here. More, bring him in. Who, who are you? Are you Anthony Carr? No, oh, you want no, your ass? He's our listener. All right, come here. Let, come, let me come around and read his ass. Anthony Carr will do his behind. Anthony Carr will do his behind? Yes. Can he take a look at it? Yes, he can. All right, right. bring in Anthony room. Carl and yeah. let him. Wow. Here you have the most gifted aura reader behind right. aura, and yeah. you leave him yeah. Well, we got to have him read your aura, aura too. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to lay on your back? <laughs> you want to read mine? Is he crazy? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, said, he was saying he's got a bad back. He, would, well, he wants so to lay on his back. All right, let the Anthony Carr read his butt. Anthony, you say you read buttocks? Wow. You do. This idiot. You don't mean me, Jackie, do you? <laughs> oh, 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 get him out of here. What's the matter? Please. Gary, this, guy, this guy's laying on his back. Sit down. <laughs> what a kind of crazy show is this? <laughs> Should I put these on? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Like Anthony, do you really birth. read people's buttocks? Well, listen, if, you it do. Gives, if it gives off energy. If it gives off energy, I'm afraid this guy. I'll bend over and have my butt read. Sure, go ahead. Let me. Now, remember, <laughs> we're concentrating on. What is your name, sir? My name's Bill. Bill, you want your butt read? Uh, I'd, I'd like to learn a little bit about myself. All right, go ahead. Oh, read, uh, read. Your, let me see. Go ahead. Now remember, yeah, we're concentrating on auras, not. Get close to that microphone, doctor, or whatever your name. Auras, is. Uh, not the uh, aromas. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. So, now you have to remember, the body gives off energy. <laughs> the Kundalini theory of uh, meditation oh, has two. Yeah. Energy centers in the gonads. Read, read it, doctor. Just a minute. Hold on. Right. Just so you know this, yes. that any any living person gives off a whole <laughs> stream. Or, or a, <laughs> a whole lot of electricity. <laughs> so you know how this is going to work. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Now I'll tell you one thing, that uh, whatever you're working at right now, <clears throat> you're not going to be working at it in two months. You're changing. In fact. If you work for this place, I can tell you within six months, uh, you, you will not be working in this place. Anymore. Already before you're even reading. Pardon? He's reading it. He's telling you something about yourself. Are you listening to this? Where are you working now? Now, we're, you don't work. I'm, I'm working construction right now. You will not be working there in six no. months. That's so what the guy's telling you. You're not going to be it's working right there me. in six months. Right. <laughs> you're going to be working in a, uh, in a building, which is like a huge warehouse. And <laughs> let me tell you this. this is, it's quite fascinating, I want to tell you. that He's ripping wind. I want to tell you something here. You're a very healthy individual. <laughs> <laughs> Don't rip oh, wind. What's Hold the matter on. with you, Bill? No. Go ahead. You're moving, you're, moving, you're moving home. You're moving house. Right, get him out of here. <laughs> and you should go and see your proctologist right away, too. Because you definitely have uh, some problem here. I, I, I got to tell you that. Uh, Bill, are you, you have pass, a, do you, you have, have a medical problem? 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 You're passing wind in the, in the astrologist's face. It's, it's a good uh, thing my olfactory glands are shot. That's all I can tell careful you. Careful not to get him near uh, Jackie Stallone. No. 
<laughs> oh, all right, get out of here. This is obscene. I thought, oh, this, this is, is ridiculous. I thought Wilter was four years, so I can't right. smell a thing. So get him out of here. This is enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, get out of here. Get out. He's no ifs, ands, and... or buts. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. I'm trying to make his job disgusting. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie, has that ever happened to you? Talk into the microphone. Sit down. Yeah, please. Uh, Jackie, this guy. Laura, would you bend over and let Anthony just turn Anthony, around? Anthony, if I bend over, you will be able to read my butt? Absolutely. Don't you have to see it? Uh, or, no, or, no, he just looks at the aura. The pants. D don't put me it. on. Why would anybody believe that you could touch someone's buttocks and read Did their he have thoughts? His hands Listen. on the buttocks? Did you have your hands on that guy's buttocks as he was passing winds? <laughs> just, 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 just briefly, just briefly. You did, all right. Now, let me tell you. You would be able to touch my buttocks wow. and tell me things? Or? I will be able to tell you. All right, I will do it, though. Get over oh, there, there, Howard. You, you probably needed this guy before. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I needed him about a month ago before and my then separation. And then I Robert on this table. Right, give, me, give me a microphone, stupid. What's the matter with you, Casey? No wonder Jackie Stallone wants you fired. Nice. She right, probably has a point. All right. uh, this is an opportunity yeah. of a lifetime to have him. Of a lifetime, Howard. Huh? Yes. And yes. Casey tried to prevent it. I know. He's, this, he's foolish. <laughs> Fire him. All, All right. right. I mean, what are you doing? Now, instead of giving you the proverbial... <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, well lie down on the table. What do you mean, lie like down? What? No, no, no. This is gay. Go what? Ahead. No. What does he have to do? What do you want me to do? You literally <laughs> have to get a little behind in your work here. Sit All right, what do I have to do? Just sit. 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 Right. How can you see it's sitting? Oh, excuse me. Well, he knows his job, Jackie. Right. Go ahead, doctor. Listen. Are you a doctor? Uh, a doctor? No, yeah, what I'm is not, your name again? My name is Anthony Kerr. Anthony Kerr. He came and up from Canada. Canada. All right, come on. Let's just, Come do on, it, touch my ass it. and let's do it. Okay, hold on now. Go ahead. You're not going to be separated all that long. How do you like that? What? Really? It's far, to far, far too expensive to stay separated. You're not kidding. It's you know, costing me a fortune. A it's cheaper to keep her. Remember how the song goes, right? What are you, a comedian? Did Tell me something. You didn't even look at my ass. I, I, I can your wallet. see it. I already touched you can see it. You just help. touched my nuts. So he's going back to his wife. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> that was not my ass. Oh. No, I've never seen well, your wife. Bend over. You've never seen my... Is your wife a blonde-haired woman? Yes, she is. You're going back with this woman. Wow. But I'm going to tell you something else. Go ahead. Is because according to the left cheek, which is your past, Yes. Is how long are you? Uh, unfortunately, we only get you up in Canada occasionally. Yes. I'm a Nighthawk. So yes. I get the number ten years around you. Ten years. So I've been with my wife twenty-five years. No, but in this business. Oh, in this oh, business. Oh God, forget. Are you kidding me? How long I'm, have you I'm, been the, a I'm, I'm, I'm a superstar for the last. How long, Jackie? Have I been a superstar? Fifty years. At least fifty years. <laughs> oh. No, at least twenty years. I'm a superstar, years? of course. You've you been in this place twenty years. Not this place. At least fifteen here. Fifteen, well, ten. So I'm off a bit right. because there's going to be an incredible shakeup coming. Around this play, I'm picking up all these. Good. I hope it's Fred. Oh. I'm also seeing. I'm, I'm also seeing. Yes. Uh, uh, um, a shakeup. What kind of shakeup? What are you talking about shakeup? Shake it's, it's 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 a shakeup. The show is going to should change. I. It's going to change. Is the best way. And then again, as I for some reason because the other chap was in here, uh, he's picking. I'm picking up the vibes from him too. <laughs> but in six months, there's going to be a major change in your career. Really. You're going on something else. You're going to be more sedate. Uh, it sounds corny, but That's I see. That's going to real estate. I, I see ships, <laughs> yeah. like cruise ships. Cruise ship. He's going to be a uh, cruise ship director. I see I'm a fun guy. Seashore, <laughs> seashore type of things around. You. Really. And I see a. Um, and I'll be happy at that. Yeah, and that's your wife. Is your a blonde-haired woman? Now there's a red-headed woman around you as well. A red-headed woman. Paul, who does kind of the old beehive thing on top there. Right, I don't have any red-headed beehive. Well, she's coming. This is, I'm a coming. Go ahead. She's Sorry. coming. I mean, Sorry, come on, hurry up and tell me something. Tell, well, that's it. That's what. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all you see. That's what you see in my ass. You're going to be. You're I going wish to I could be fart. This what? Place <laughs> what? And in a new part of your career, a new. I'm telling you, it's going to be a, quite an upheaval in six months. Oh, great. Right. That's what I need, more upheaval. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself if there's any more upheaval in my life. All right, so I'm going back with my wife, and there will be more upheaval. Wow. Um, wow, I can't believe that. And be careful driving in red cars or sports cars. Really? Uh, really? That kind of thing, you know. Well, you see, and I, how long am I going to live? Tell me something important. What you call this living? You know, I can't, I'd rather be dead. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, come on. Tell me how long am I going to live? Listen, the only time I see death is if it's within... Two years, and I wow. certainly don't see that. Well, that's good, Robin. Only when you have absolutely everything you want. I see. Then he you're predict die. Listen, he predicted me marrying Stephen. He did. Before I ever heard of Stephen. Well, let me tell you, I that was some prediction, Robin. I, listen, I've read also for Gorbachev, and I've read from everyone from uh, Judy Garland going back to you. Know. Really? Well, the book is called Star Power. Does Who's it come on the cover there? 
that would be Jackie Stallone. Oh. She has a beautiful picture with her her, her, uh, her mane of hair <laughs> completely uh, opened, and, and you can see that for yourself. There's a couple of phone calls. Let's do them real quick, and then we got to get to news. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, who do we have on first? This would be Dennis. Go ahead, Dennis. Hey, Howard. Yes. You know what? The only thing this woman has predicted from looking at somebody's ass <laughs> is that they had to take a dump. Oh, come on. Oh, go away. <laughs> it might be true, but you don't have to say that. <laughs> Uh, let's go to um, Dominic Barbara. Go ahead, Dominic. <laughs> this guy's got plenty of ass. This guy's got Dominic. the biggest ass I've ever seen on... I've been reading all day. Dominic, you want to say something? He is gone. Mm. Let's go to Brian. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, hi, Howard. How you doing? Hey. Uh, this lady's a crackpot. Oh, Jackie Stallone? Yeah, this is ridiculous. I mean, she's feeling asses to... to I don't feel them. She that? doesn't touch the asses. She doesn't? Never. I would I would not let you within five feet of my ass, lady. Well, I wouldn't want to. I've never... Uh, no, I just do the blueprints if you sent, uh, send in a blueprint. So Anthony Carr touches them. Yeah, photocopy. I photocopy my body. Anthony Carr will touch your ass. and then send it in, and I just interpret the copies, which... You could understand you. why people would be skeptical yeah, about skeptical. this. Yeah. I'd rather let Jackie do that. No, no, I don't uh, touch behind. I'll give you 50 bucks. Touch my ass. Come no, on. I wouldn't do it. I'm really? A million. All right. This guy sounds like he should be in the Army. Like the Army, really? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I, mean, I don't know. I just saw tanks and, and, and Army uniforms and all that kind of thing around you. Hmm. Well. That's interesting. <laughs> Let's go to Tommy. Tommy, We're go ahead. All of a sudden tuned into the yes. psychic network. Hi, guys. This is Tommy Limo. Listen, I just want to save Jackie. I mean, I think you're a disgrace. You're, <laughs> you're married to a prominent doctor. Your son's an actor. Correct. I mean, they must be embarrassed of you. Why? I think, I think you look like Sylvester with long hair and makeup on. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, you're probably no trip to Hollywood yourself. No, buddy. this is not. This is regular callers. But not even that. I think the other guy who reads asses, I just think he likes them. Uh, you <laughs> probably get your head up yours, too. Who needs <laughs> How's these kind of people? Thanks, well, Howard. I mean, what can I say? I wanted to take well, some phone calls. Let me ask you, does he like, would he believe in having his palm read? Do you My palm? Yeah. I think I would take this palm and put it to the side of your face. I'll get lost. Oh. I'll find somebody else. All right, I will find somebody else. He's a crazy else. kind of All right, person. let's go to, all right, let's go to Patrick. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Yes. Patrick. Um, yeah, I'm just calling because, you know, this woman comes in and she starts berating your whole staff because she's not flying first class. Really, what has she done besides have one, one and a half fa famous sons? <laughs> well, I mean, really. Well, Frank's moving yeah. up. The only up. thing I can think of personally is that she's had the greatest argument ever on the Stern Show with her ex-husband. Absolutely. One of the greatest <laughs> radio yeah, moments well, ever. Great radio I mean, moment. you gotta, you got to give Jackie Stallone credit for having balls. But she prefers cash. I'll give her some credit for that. I mean, Glow, that, that thing with Glow, the wrestling. Okay, you did that you like out. that? Did you like that? No, no, it's all right. I, you know. Did you like the Glow Girls? No, no, not really. Well, not what too do much. you I'd like? Rather, I'd rather go to scores or something she like that. She should be allowed to live her own life. She doesn't have to answer until Sylvester Stallone just because he's famous. Well, I mean, I figure that's where she gets all her talent. She can do whatever she wants. She doesn't have to sit there and answer to him. <laughs> what I think, happened to I the circus career, she got, I think that's where she gets all her talent from reading rumps. I think she's been kissing what happened to your so circus? So that she's, uh, what happened to your circus career, Jackie? Well, Remember you were with the circus for a while? But after a certain amount of years, you can't do it. I've rehearsed, but I mean... I see. With you the, weren't going back? Yeah. Right. I was going to circus LA a year ago. All right. Yeah. Does this guy like baseball? Do you Are like you baseball? baseball nut? Yeah, I do. I like baseball. Uh, I like the Mets. So you're a fanatic, too, right? Everybody has their own fetish. <laughs> there you go. You make I'm a lot of sense I'm now. I'm seeing all these guys in baseball uniforms around you with tight pants. <laughs> <laughs> sure that's not a fantasy of yours? <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. All right, listen, uh, Sylvester Stallone, you're on the air. This guy claims to be Sylvester Stallone. Maybe it is the real one. Hey, yo, Ma. Oh, this is him, I think. It is. No? I don't think so. No? Hey, yo, Ma, forget about it, will you? <laughs> Nah. Sylvester. Uh, <laughs> Sylvester, what's the pen, pen word? The pen word? Yeah. All I know is you always make me pull down my pants. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you. Yeah. What name do you use in Canada, and I'll tell you if this is a real Sylvester. Little Red Bottom Spankings? No. Does he go by the name Little Red Bottom? Imposter. That's an imposter. All right. Yes. You are not the real Sylvester Stallone. Sorry. Right. Oh. I like that Jackie has to ask him a question to I figure know, out. She doesn't, have, doesn't yeah. know. Bruce, you're on the air. Hello? Yes. Go ahead. One more question for Jackie Stallone. 
Oh, uh, she sucks. Oh, oh, it, this about? is outrageous. Let me Jesus. tell you Come something. Come on. Go ahead, promises. tell him all. First, tell. let me tell you something. Where do you get this kind of an audience? I don't know. It's This is my audience. All right, number one, to talk like this, it shows these are stupid people that you have. Oh, right. come on. How can you believe what you say? Well, because... And you're ranking on, you're ranking on uh, Gary... Come on, you're not as important as half the people that come on this I show. didn't say I was important. She I'm didn't not claim to be important. All right, listen, enough of this. The new book. Never mind that guy. Nodules in his testicles. Oh, I don't worry about can it. Imagine these people don't believe that you can read answers. Well, do they... <laughs> all right, listen. And they left it at us. <laughs> that's, all right, that's all right. Don't worry about it, Jack. <laughs> well, around the world, they think so. I'm book solid around the world, and these people it's know. True. Well, there it is. Star power. I mean, it is by Jackie sex. Sloan. You did not have a, a ghostwriter or anything like that. Not you wrote word. it yourself. These are Correct. your words. It's my second book. The other was a, a sensational in 13 languages. This just came out two days ago. There are pictures in it. It is uh, professionally done. You see Look Jackie's at the wedding. And, and the I predict as the world's greatest psychic, it will be a million seller. <laughs> wow. I got, I'm going to tell you something. I've got so many rumps of celebrities have sat on copy machines by the thousands. Just to be read by worldwide you. Worldwide. Because Sylvester Stallone sat on a copier? Yes. I'll <laughs> tell you why. Um, <laughs> Where did that happen? You know why? Because... I've had a reputation 40 years of being a psychic, a writer, a lecturer, an astrologer, palmist, so, and I've done this as well. So I exist on my reputation. So to listen to these saps on your show, I mean, really, it's right. I like it. The best thing ever happens to them in a day is listening to you. Thank you very much, Jackie. I mean it. And it's good to see you again. I thought that your sons were keeping you away from the show. I can see that you're a woman who speaks her own mind. No, Frankie, and Frankie said to say hello. Good. I, I, you know, I love him. He said he wanted to call in and say, you know, he has a, starts his own TV show ne next month. Oh, really? For him. Called Movie Stars. Good. With Harry Hamlin. Good. I like to see him have uh, something. I would, too. You know what I'm saying? And what is your name again? It's uh, Anthony Carr. <laughs> Anthony Kerr? Carr, C-A-R. Carr. Carr. And Anthony, you are... Touted. Touted. And you know, you are... Touted is the world's most he documented writes, He's psychic. in every... Listen, he's in every uh, newspaper for reading palms. He is. And behinds, and I don't know. They. Well, it's a hell of a way to make a living. Give us your big prediction. Each one of you, leave us with a prediction. Anthony, you first. Absolutely nothing will happen New Year's Eve 2000. Everything will be fine, at least for the next three or four or five years. Although, down the road, you'll find that Nostradamus probably wasn't too far off. Really? Not immediately. Very cryptic. And, and if you fly a small plane during that time. Don't fly in a small, you know, one of those Cessna jobs or anything like that. Well, I ain't doing that. Jackie Stallone. For you, a prediction? No, for the world. Oh, for the world? Yes. I think it's going to be a better world next year. I really do. Why? I think people are getting sick of crappy politicians and phoniness. I really do. There I it is. I see a better world. A more honest world. I predict... <laughs> Nah, I'm not going to make that prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Come no. On. Why am I going to predict? Does she have a prediction for you? She was. Uh... You have a personal prediction? Yeah, I did. I see you in two years going very big into real estate. Truthfully, truthfully, real truthfully. Estate. And real estate. Real like, estate. Like on the line of Donald Trump, that type. But really? Still being uh, active sort of as a newscaster, broadcaster, but of, of a gossip show. Not spending hours here listening to sap talk. You know? ah, right. That takes back to the point I was trying to make. I mean the, Truthfully, the ships and the. I'll property. be on a cruise ship. Well, look at mm. over uh, overseeing your property like L. Ron Hubbard, oh. you know. Hmm. Well, I see a boat, but I predict. <laughs> ah, I forget what I'm going to predict. Let's hear. <laughs> no, no, you don't want to hear you my. You know prediction. what? You're what? Are you losing your psychic ability? I am. I really am. I, I realize I don't have any. What is it, Baba Bowie? You know, I just don't want Jackie to leave with a bad feeling. I just want to say, let, let's let bygones be bygones. When we communicate in the future, let's just try to be more civil what to each other. What is this all about? I forgot it all. Well, already. you know about you telling everyone to f off and telling my intern he's a stupid loser, and I just you know. I didn't now, say he was a stupid but, loser. But let, let it. Let's let it go. Bring him out here no, immediately. Bring him out here and let. Bring him out here and let. Where is the intern? He did. He told me. Here it is. All right. Go. Go ahead. What's his name? What is your name? John. John. Who? John. 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 I didn't even talk to John. No, you spoke Howard. to him on the phone. <laughs> Not this one. The, no, you spoke to me on the phone. I, w I pick up the phone, and you're like, what's your sign? And I don't know you, because we get a when, lot of like, when, little when, when is that? people that call. You know? Right. He when didn't know you were... When was that? When I yeah. was in California? It was about probably two or three weeks ago. And you were like, 
you're like, oh, you're like, what's your sign? And like, anyone. Well, I say that like, to everyone. Before well, I, I you know, there's Zodiac killers and stuff. So I'm just like, I'll take. So a you didn't want to give Jackie your sign? No, not at all. You know. Oh, so. I know what this one is. And this she, was a dumb one. Yeah. I, I re- <sighs> this was one that I actually crying. said he has a flat tire personality, and I said right. when I want to talk to the morgue, I'll call the morgue. Right. And that's what I said to you. Right. And then he yeah. shaped up a little bit, but it's true. <laughs> he snapped him too. <laughs> I mean, uh, really? Really? He, you're, are like, you a boy? I said he Not was like. I'm a, I'm a pretty good guy. I said I when he an, you might be, but when he answers the phone, all right, call someone. It's like dead man walking. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Hello. Maybe you have a bad phone personality. Actually, not at a, all. Maybe Jackie did you a favor. She let you know. What are you, you are. kidding? Why? Well, I, I I must have because I never saw a personality like this before. Right. Howard. Yeah, that's she true. Called. She comes out and she calls. She tells me to get a life and calls me a loser. Yes, I did. I said, I'm get just, a life. I'm just, answering, house. I'm just answering the phones for Gary. Well, <laughs> obviously, you got a life because you have a personality now. Yeah, I'm suddenly you got a personality. I think she I fixed saved you. Your life. She, she fixed you. I, I certainly guess, did. You did. He's I guess executive. I all right, get out of here, Ollie. Did you ever but, answer phone? Have somebody call you on the other end. Don't let them know you and say, I'd like to speak to uh, Casey. Right. And he'll get, he'll, you get this dead, almost like uh, I thought I was calling the morgue. Yes. No. I don't know. Yes. He I'll has, a, he has a, what they call bland personality. So I said, what is your, per- it's no person. What is your, what is your sign? I don't have to tell you. Well, I don't know who asked him. I was going to do him a favor and tell right. him his problem. <laughs> right. But obviously, he got the message. <laughs> this, kid is good, this kid is good executive material eventually. Good organizer. Really? But, good, good organizer. But Jackie, wow. in the future, let's just let's leave the harsh words behind and let's just. Why? I like it. It's funny. Just and you know what? It. She might have done me a favor. They, she whipped he, that guy into shape. When this man talks to me long distance, it's my nickel for 3,000 miles, and he talks like a corpse, I'm supposed to just <laughs> <She's> answer. <gonna laughs> point it out. So you think that if you call someone, that gives you the right to tell them whatever you want just because you're paying for <laughs> Because call? that's the kind of answers I was getting. Okay. You know. All right. Well, she's got Everyone's a point. not as open as you are. She right? whipped him into shape. Look at him now. Now he's all smiling. The guy's, a, now. guy's a swinger now. You know what? It's he's good. To, uh, thank you for ago. thank you for shaking up my office a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Hey, Howard, can I just address one thing? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, get it all out. You know we don't pay anybody, right? <laughs> well, are we still on this? Is he yeah. Back? But yeah. I, just, I just want to make because I know we're gonna have this conversation in the green room when you leave. I got do, news do you, for you, Casey. How long have you been here? I, I've been here for two years. Okay, well, let me tell you something. Howard Stern, if my ex-husband, Frank Stallone, would have come up the next day, he would have given us each $10,000 and duke it out. <laughs> okay. See? So you do pay if it's worth it. Right. Okay, so oh, you, right. are you going to ask if you're going to get paid after this? So I just want to know that. <laughs> just a minute. I, I'm entitled to after. <laughs> you know what that means? Jack, Jackie, I must step in. It's a non-union show. So forget it. I came so to see you, Howard. Really, you know, we're not covering what is this all about? Well, I just don't want you to leave upset. I, just I, don't, I want you to leave for you. Un- I never leave upset with Howard. Okay. Right. You can live with that. But, but I don't want you. To, I don't want you to leave your feeling screwed or. Why or, should I leave happy? I'm happy because Howard looks good. So, so right. you felt that today went well and you're going to leave here happy. You're okay. That's what I want. What kind of shit are you giving me? I'm right. Gonna, yeah. I'm not giving you any. <laughs> what? Is there no pleasing you? <laughs> well, remember, it's a rumpology. A rumpology I'm just, show. I mean, I want you to leave here happy. Because you seemed a little irritated before, and I don't want you to leave with a bad taste in your mouth. I arrived very mad. I like you. I like your sons, and I just want you to leave here. You know, I'm. I'm, I'm sure you could give two craps whether I leave happy or unhappy. <laughs> Probably right, but I'd like you, you to know, feel you that. Just way. read your ass, Gary. <laughs> well, it's a rumpology show, and it took us a long time to get here. Remember? I mean, I'm trying to give you an education to help you tell you where you're going in your future. I bought you each a book. I'm taking it back home. Uh, that's fine. I just want you. To listen. And the thing is, turn around, and Anthony will tell you how happy you really want I me to be happy. I might let that guy look at my ass. <laughs> Anthony, does he really want me to be happy, or does he want just? Turn around, let's test Turn it. around for a second, Bob. Let's see your uh, Look at the size of that thing, Jackie. Does he want me to be happy? Oh, I see we predict you should go to the gym I and work out. Oh, look. Holy, when's the last time you saw your proctologist? Listen. Uh, not long ago, <laughs> believe me. Right, go ahead, give him a reading. more than you. Listen, let me. Give a reading. I'll tell you what I do see, though. What? Seriously, is. Uh, Stains in my underwear? Although I know, I do, uh, even though I see a ring on your finger and I see a diamond ring or an engagement ring. Right. So. But what do you say? You're going to tell me you're married now, right? Right. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> seriously, seriously. No, seriously. I no, no, I'm married. I am married. Yeah. So what, are you giving Lucky your, your girl. wife a new ring? Are you giving her a fix, polished? What's uh, What are you saying? You see a ring on his ring? A big diamond ring. But you guys ever seen anything power. important? Can I tell you something? What? Can I tell you what dopes people are? And I'm not talking about you guys, so don't get upset. <laughs> Gandhi comes to me and he says that this guy looks at his ass and says, I see palm trees in your future. And Gandhi goes, you know, that's so weird because I'm going to L.A. next week. And I'm like, oh, please. Right. 
What sign are you? I'm a cancer. Cancer. Where do you think he's going? Wait, the rest. Listen. Where do, you, where do you think I'm going? Actually, just from uh, just from the rear view, uh, I actually perceived psychically from the gonads, the chakra centers in your derriere, that you're going south or around palm trees very shortly. You see, because it gives off energy. It works in the so, same principle as the Rorschach tests or the ink spots. Have you ever heard of the ink spots? Really? You always heard? No, I was just Stop kidding. Being but the, the so you say I'm going to be around palm trees soon? Palm trees, very shortly. Really? Now, that was what else can you say? What else can you see? Well, from well actually, the, uh, around palm trees, okay. and the fact from your from your left cheek, which is your past, which means you'll be actually changing careers very shortly and be working for a, a company or a branch of a company where there are palm trees. I come from Toronto, so what do I know from palm trees? Hi, right, listen, listen, well, this is this is wild. I wow. see an elevator in your future. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You'll be on one soon. Were you getting a rise out of that? No, no but I mean, it's, it, it, you just oh throw these God. things against the wall. I guess Can these guys are skeptics. Lock me up? They're skeptics. What listen, sign is he? Fear not, my son. What I sign are you? Down. Pisces. Settle. Well, no just wonder. Stay out of the desk. Neurotic. <laughs> You're neurotic. That sounds pretty All right. Get more neurotic. All right, listen, I have to thank the great Jackie Stallone. <laughs> thank you. Who comes in here with a new book. Shakes everything up. And shakes everything up and <laughs> shakes up my staff. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I could shake up my staff that way. And I want to thank uh, Anthony Carr thank you. for coming in here and reading my ass and telling me that, uh, and I'm tell me saying, nothing, something about a cruise I gotta, ship. Listen, I got to tell you, I'm a longtime fan, too. Thank you very much, Anthony. Thank you, Jackie. We'll be back right after these words. Yeah. It's the most expensive. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, I'll read it. So, Jackie, you're not mad at KC, are you? Yes, I'm not mad at KC. Just because I yelled doesn't mean I'm mad. So, you're not leaving upset with anybody, or Gary, or anybody like that? No. No. I just didn't like my seat on the airplane. Okay, so you're still you're still happy with everything, and you're Will happy I with your do it again? People. Yeah. Did you have a good time in there? Yeah, I was. Are you upset that you didn't get to read Howard's yeah. butt, though? <laughs> no, well, I, uh, Anthony did it. But you didn't get to read it. Well, no, I would have read the print. I don't know how right. to read auras on with their clothes on. I certainly don't want to look at it without clothes. I mean, uh, it's not my thing. <laughs> what did you think of uh, my reading, by the way? No, I, I, I thought him lying down like that was a cycle. scream. Did you, Steve? You didn't see it, did you? <laughs> did you hear that? Well, he was lying down the tail of his legs up in now, the air. Now he admits the reading was oh, very good. Are, are all your readings that good, though? Or do oh, you, yes, they are. Are there, are there, Especially when I'm under are there negative readings, too? Well, sure, I tell the he, truth. He laid on the tail. Bill, show what position you were in. Hold on, you got to tell me. All right, yeah. Bill, show my husband. Bill, what? show him the position you were in. He has to wait three weeks to look at it. Let me get this up. And then... Here, actually, I'll give you guys a little I, I, want my I should be able to do it better now. And take a picture. I'm on the floor. Hey, it's Anthony, the Anthony, give him another reading. <laughs> Now, as I was saying, that uh, whatever job he was doing, he's not doing, but he is now doing it again. So uh, there's nothing wrong with this guy. He's going to be very successful in show business, and he's in between jobs right now, which he admitted to doing. I must say. Have you ever had this happen to you before? You're a very healthy person. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you whatsoever. I have a colleague I can recommend to you. <laughs> Tell me what to do, so and then clear out. Hello? All right. So, James, we have to do uh, 78, Hi. right? We're on light, yeah. right? And then 78. Okay, so it's right. And it's got to go on legal, 78. And then, where do I have to be, Angie? You need to get into this. And does this go up no. any higher? No. Well, that's terrible. Well. That's what we were talking about. You gotta kind of push your in there. Well, now you need something. Well, That's you, why I say you need something. Yeah, I get you. Need you, you, want, oh, you, you want put the chair. No, ch this chair will kill somebody, you, you idiot. What do you want the crate? I can get you a crate, or you want these boxes? Are those boxes full of something? Yeah. How's that? You need two. Okay. Well, I'm used to good sport. I dig you. I really do. <laughs> I need two. The guys might be able to do it with one. I need two. 
Get out of here. I'm about to do my thing. You're going to do it with them here? No. Everybody's leaving, and I'm doing this myself. Goodbye. Goodbye. You can't sit on it. No. you got to bear it. What are you talking? I know that. That's why you're getting the fuck out. Are you saying? No. Somebody's got to spot you. I mean, put on blindfolds or something. You could, you could. Goodbye. Go I will handle this. Goodbye. Well, you you on on it feel real bad. Hey, it'll be a good show. Yeah, but Rub I feel bad eye. though. Did you put it on enlarge? Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.
I just gotta get these fucking, I just gotta brush myself off. But this is like totally fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying they're not gonna be too fucking thrilled that I broke the goddamn copy machine. Did you get a copy at least? I got a half a cheek. Nice. Pretty, you're out. You all right? I got a little cut. Nope. <laughs> I got a little blood in the saddle. Do you really? Yeah. Is it all right? Uh, I'll find out. Gonna I'm, gonna go go, I'm gonna go home and check it out, my friend. It's not major bleeding. It's not having severed an artery or anything like that. Just one little cut? It's more like a paper cut, I think. Oh. Okay. Although it's kind of hard to look back there. <laughs> Who's gonna look back there for you? Uh, it's basically just gonna be me and a mirror. All right. Checking things out. Making, making sure that everything is still in one piece. <laughs> Thank God I couldn't go any place deeper. That's all, all right. I'll say. All right, Fred. That's my only comment, young man.